Hi, so we're running a couple of tests, but what are we really testing in our application? If we look at our command log, you will see that at the end of each test, there is a message that says saving code coverage. If you go to the very, very first test, you will see that not only it says saving code coverage, but after all tests in the spec file complete, there is a message saving code coverage and generating report. If we click on this message generating report, then it shows that report was generated and saved in a folder called coverage. Let's look at that folder. Coverage, coverage, coverage. So the coverage report has code coverage in several formats so you can send it to third party services. The most interesting one for me personally when I work with tests is LCOV. As you can see, where it's just HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. And if I look at this folder and open the file, well, that shows me that my tests in this spec cover about 74% of all source code. And if I drill down to individual files, I will see that this line has been covered five because we create five instances of a game component but the lines in red were not covered by our tests. So I can see what else I have to cover. Um, well, a method like is sold was never called because we never really played the game, right? We never clicked on a button. So we never exercised this, this functionality. So we never hit those lines. So let's add a test. Especially now that we have deterministic board, we can actually do this. So I will start a new test. We'll say it plays a move. So now that we have the board that is always the same, So let's play maybe the first cell. So I'll say si get, I think this is gain cell first and now click it. Excellent, so it clicked the right cell. And let's say, so there are sevens here and seven here. So let's say I wanna click seven. So seven seems like the right answer right here. So I get, uh, I don't remember this. So let's say status numbers, yes. So a single one will be status number and I'll say contain because I wanna pick number seven, I'll click it. Excellent, so we played this move, we found the seven, we clicked on it and it put seven right here and highlighted all seven in our cells. So we play the move, we highlighted, now we have visual changes. So why don't we take a snapshot? We'll say, oh. And right now we're skipping with snapshots, but in reality, this is a good visual state, right? If you have a number and you click on the number, it should highlight all the cells with the same number. So let's remove only and rerun all our tests to see if the coverage has changed because we're now doing more probably. I will reload all the files and we move from 74 to 79% and we're covering a few more lines here. So we can now continue with writing tests to hit more lines based on the code coverage report.